Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about what to do when the guy that you're dating start telling you about his financial problems. Now, if this is a topic that you're interested in, please keep on watching. All right, so before we jump in, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You need to subscribe to this channel if you are serious about your level of journey. Make sure you turn on the bell notification so that you know when I upload a new video. And be sure to like this video and share this video. If the content in this video can benefit someone, anyone, go ahead and share the video. I would appreciate that a lot. Now, let's jump in. Imagine you're on a date. Maybe it's a guy you met on Tinder. And you all know how I feel about online dating because I did um, an event on my Patreon about online dating and how online dating is designed to keep you single. If you don't believe me, go and listen to that replay when you have time. I was saying, you're on a date with a nice guy that you may have met on Tinder or wherever, who knows where you met. But this is the two ways that they tell you that they have financial problems. Pay attention, ladies. Sorry, I'm going to share a story time with you. All right. He starts saying that he used to have a lot of money. If he starts saying that he used to have money, or he starts complaining about the economy and how he's um, he has financial problems, etc. Ladies, that is a red flag. That is a red flag because this man doesn't care about you. This man does not value you. And furthermore, if a man is being this open with you about his failure in the finances, you are not his dream girl. He is either looking for a sutter wife, he's looking for someone to exploit, he's looking for free emotional labor and sex, of course. That is what he's looking for. When you hear these words, you need to run. Just get up, flip the table over and walk out of that restaurant or the, the coffee date or whatever because a, a guy that is talking about his financial problem is probably not going to, going to um invest a lot on a first date. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the first date because if by the second or the third date or the first month, like, you know, like if he's talking about his financial problems in the early stages of dating, you need to run. Do not entertain this man. Let me give you all a story time. So when I was in my 20s, I kid you not, every single guy I dated would tell me about how good they had it in the past. Oh yeah, I used to have money and I used to drive this really nice car, blah, blah, blah. And you know, I, I just lose it all. And I'm like, okay. And it it was becoming a pattern because I'm like, I'm so confused because I'm so young. I didn't start dating until I was 19. And I, I started to think that there was something wrong with me. I'm like, am I cursed or something? Because am I attracting the most unluckiest men ever? Like why every single guy that I've met are uh, basically living in the past and the past was so much better before they met me. Like that doesn't make any sense because I'm like, I don't know. This is really interesting. But, you know, I picked up on that pattern and I'm like, okay. And y'all, because I was so naive and I didn't know better, I will continue to date them. And a couple of those guys I was in a serious relationship with. I entertain those guys. Because I was in my 20s, my early 20s, I didn't know any better. There was no YouTube, there was no Shira, there was no one. <laughs> okay, there was literally no one. But like, I couldn't understand like why every single guy that I met had it so good before I met him. I My ex, like my first serious relationship of three years, when I met him, he had a business. Okay. And I was like, oh yeah, this is good because he really enticed me to be in a relationship with him because he was driving a nice car. He was driving an Audi. Um, at that at that point in time, I've I'd never dated a guy with an Audi. That was like 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 literally the first time I dated a guy with a car like that. He had a house. This was when I was in the UK. And you know, everything looked good on paper. And he was like, yeah, you should stay in England because, you know, you're going to love the quality of life here, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, great. 
And I decided to pursue a relationship with this guy. Y'all. We eventually moved in together. And we were struggling. Like I couldn't understand how this guy had a business. And we, we, we can barely go out. I couldn't go shopping, especially for like essential things. Like, you know, like clothes, clothing. Like I was on this really, really tight budget, you know. I would have like um a hundred pounds, and that's all I had, you know. And by the time you go, you walk into Top Shop, ladies, because I'm talking talking to the ladies that actually live in the UK. By the time you walk into Top Shop or Primark with a hundred pounds, you know it's not it's not going to it's not going to be enough. All right, especially when winter is around the corner and you have to buy a winter coat. Okay, 70 pounds out of that 100 pounds gone after you buy that coat because, you know, I wanted to buy a coat that was stylish. I didn't want to buy those old, those ugly, puffy coats. I hated those coats. But anyways, yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's like we were, we were struggling and I didn't understand it. And when he, before he left his job, he was able to meet all his bills and everything like that. Basically, he was doing better when he had his job than, than when he was, when he had his business, this guy was in so much debt. At one point he remortgaged the house because he was in so much debt. He was paying child support. Mind you, I'm 20, I'm 23 years old and he's, and he's 33. And I am, I was so confused after three years, y'all, like I couldn't take it anymore. I had to leave. All right. So by the time I left, I was already 26 years old, y'all. So that's literally three years of my life. I should have known better. I saw that, you know, we we were basically struggling. He was struggling. I should have left then and there the, the minute I found out. And in those days, I didn't know how to, I didn't know what type of questions to ask. I didn't know what to look for. I didn't understand debt because in my country, not a lot of people in my country have debt. Most people don't even have a credit card. As there are requirements in order for you to qualify qualify for a loan in the bank. So usually when you see people have things in my country, they can usually afford it. But anyways, moving on. So that's my my story of entertaining one of those guys that had it good before we met. And then, you know, he just fell into some bad luck. All right. So the point I'm making, ladies, is that the reason why you have to leave these men alone is because they are telling you this because they are setting you up. They are grooming you for a life of struggle. They are basically telling you that, you know, if you get with me, it's not going to be easy. Um, you're going to have to ride or die or struggle and you may have to contribute and help me with these bills. That's basically what he's saying. And from my experience, ladies, because I am 44 years old and I've been around, I've been on this planet longer than some of y'all that listen, that listen to me on this channel. Usually when men suffer financial loss in the sense that they lost their fortune, maybe they lost their money in the stock market or maybe they lost their jobs or whatever. Um, or they they had like a really good life when things were really good. Like they had like a, an amazing um, financial windfall at, at one point in time in their life. Usually when men lose a, a lot of money to the point where they had to have a drastic change in lifestyle, from my experience, they were never able to get back to where they were before, not even close. And from my experience, it usually gets worse as they get older. So why would a guy tell you that, oh, I used to have money and I used to drive these nice cars and I used to I used to go to these places and I used to travel. Why would he tell you, why would he tell you that? The reason why he's telling you that is so that you will you will come to the conclusion that if he was able to get those things before, he can do it again. That is not an that is not a, a, a bad conclusion when you really think about it because if someone was able to to quite acquire a certain amount of wealth and they lost that wealth they should be able to get it again but from my experience with men in general they never get it back they just keep spiraling and getting poorer and poorer as as each year goes on 
So he is banking that on, on you seeing his potential to make more money again, um, his potential to provide you with a certain lifestyle, the lifestyle that he claimed that he that he had. That is what he's hoping that you will fall for because this guy is not selling you anything. He's not he's not selling you a future. He's selling you a past. And as we all know, the past doesn't exist, okay? The past is gone. Like I said, when they talk like this, you need to run. All he has to offer is struggle and broken dreams. If you can show a man that you can go through hell with him, you will never see heaven. For whatever reason, he manages to gain his wealth back. Do you think he'll want to stay with you? No, he won't. He's going to associate you with the time that he was struggling. Men that are successful, they don't like women that are struggling. They don't even, and they know their dream woman will not accept them when they're poor. They know this. So if a man is comfortable telling you about his financial problems or about how much money he used to have in the past, regardless if it's true or not, because in, a, in most cases, they were never, it, it was never true. A lot of the guys that told me this, they, were ne they never had money to begin with. They were always broke. They were just trying to make an excuse as to why they were broke and why they couldn't buy me things and why they couldn't take me, take me out. That's why. But again, like I said, if you show a man that you can go through hell with him, you will never see heaven. You will never get the reward that you feel is owed to you. You're not going to get a return on your investment. When you invest time, money, and energy into a man like this, because of his potential to make money, you will never get a return on your investment. And I know, yes, and ladies, I am aware that there are exceptions. There will always be exceptions. But I don't go by exceptions. That's not what I do here. Ladies, I'm going to wrap this up. In conclusion, basically, do not entertain men that used to have money or lost money, or lost money in a divorce, lost his house, like all that bullshit. His, his baby mama put him on child support. Don't entertain those men. Just don't, because that man is an adult in a patriarchal system. He needs to be financially responsible. Do not date or entertain financially irresponsible men. Don't do it. I'm warning you. Please don't do it. Save yourself the, the, the trouble. All right? And with that, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you all soon. Bye.